Hi, my name is Leah, and I want to give you a tour of my scrap rack. I'm going to start with the alphabets and numbers section. Uh, I use the four section system that Totally Tiffany recommends. Uh, the scrap rack is her product. You can go to totally-tiffany.com to find it. So these are my numbers. They aren't really sorted small to large like letters. They're sorted of like that, but there's fewer of them, so it doesn't matter. Then I have times of day uh, and like days of the week, because that's where it makes sense to me. Uh, and so each day of the week, you can see here, has its own section, or sorry, its, its own like sort of set of stickers. And then we move into letter six stickers, so, so words, so some little word, generic word stickers, and then letter stickers by size, which is what uh, Tiffany recommends. Those are my favorite letter stickers, the brown ones. Uh, so I'm going to keep flipping through uh, all of the sections. After letter stickers, we come to the rainbow starting with multicolor, like the stuff I couldn't pick a single color for. A lot of it's rainbow, uh, since that's the hardest to pick a single color for, because it has all the colors equally. Um, all of my sections have, subsections have the same setup. Uh, this is metallics, uh, starting copper, silver, gold. Uh, they all go basically smallest to largest within a section. This is neutrals, so gray and then brown, and then black and white. Uh, you'll notice that it started out with the smallest pocket, so we've got some embellishments, and then with 3x4 cards, 4x6 cards, this there's this one 6x8 piece of paper uh, from a Chamel paper pad, 6x6 uh, paper, and then there's usually a 12x12 12 12, uh, page protector, although I guess Brown didn't get one. Uh, so black and white also covers that, uh, so little stuff. This was a unique page protector, the like, flip one. There's just like a lot of black and white only embellishments, so they're all in one page protector. I'm trying this out. I'm not sure I really like it, because I usually like just being able to see everything at once. But it's it's alright other than the like difficulty opening and closing it. Uh, but yeah, so I have all of the neutrals first, um, and embellishments, 3x4 four, cards, 4x6 four cards, all the journaling cards are on here. 6x6 six six papers, and then the 6x8s, 8x8s, and 12x12 12 12 scrap, or it's trap, scraps are in a page projector at the back. All the scraps are at the back, but usually I only keep the bigger ones. The rainbow goes yellow to green, so it's like Roy G. Biv, but I started at yellow and went, went backwards. So yellow, orange, red, and then purple, blue, teal, uh, and then green. And so these also do the, like, things sort of get bigger as you go on. Uh, pink is also in there. I think pink goes after red. It used to go before red when I was like, pink is lighter than red. But it's also purplier than red. So sometimes I confuse myself. Um, everything is in the scrap rack. Uh, all of my di different kinds of embellishments. Cards that I've made. So there's some cards that I've stamped. So there's cards from kits. There's cards from cut aparts. Um, there's shapes that I've punched out and turned into stickers. Um, everything goes in here. Uh, most of my supplies go into the rainbow because I prefer generic things. Like, I prefer to view my supplies as relatively generic, and I avoid heavily themed supplies because I feel like they're harder to use. Purple is so thin, it's just unfortunate because it's my favorite color, and it's so hard to find purple supplies. I'm just showing you that it's like, that's all there is for purple. There's so much pink. I, I'm, I've i come to terms with pink, but like, I really like purple. Um, and it's not just because I used it, there's just so little purple. Um, so blue I have split into true blue, and then the like aqua teals. Uh, all of the light to darks are together, it's just like, the like, true blue versus the like, greenish blue. Uh, and that's the split, so they have, like, small to large with e in each half. I know some people don't see the difference. To me, like, it makes a difference, so that's why I have it sorted this way. And there's some navy in both, because navy is sometimes printed with teal in, like, it's teal and navy ends up in the navy half. Um, then there's green, and this binder is, like, when we're going to switch from the rainbow to something else. 
So like three of my spinders on the scrap rack are from when I had a craft binder and overloaded all of my spinders before I upgraded. And so the, those like, this one might have been the top one on one of those, uh, which might be why it's things maybe slip out a little bit more easily. Uh, so we're going through green here. Uh, you can sort of tell that I have a, the, the uh, Slate Project Life Kit because you can see that I have a lot of cards from it. I got that one re relatively recently. Okay, we're on weather. This is the first theme. So that's the very end of the rainbow. So it ended with green. Uh, and now we're on... So this binder has green, and then it has weather, outdoors, and travel. So we saw weather and, outdo and we're in outdoors, and now we're into travel. Travel has a bunch of subsections, and it's my largest theme by far. Um, so, like, I have, all of my other themes are on a single spinder. Obviously, Rainbow took up a lot of, most of the spinders. Alpha and Bot's numbers are a single spinder. But so, for me, like, I was like, the most logical way for me to do this, because, like, spinders are sort of a logical unit in that you can take them out and take them with you one spinder at a time, like in a craft binder or whatever, or it's like a, in, like, various, like, there's various things that you can do to take one, one spinder at a time. And so... You kind of want like one spinder to be meaning a meaningful unit. Uh, so for me, green and outdoors go together well. So green weather and weather and outdoors, obviously, you're outdoors. You care about the weather. So oh, this is the I'm we're moving into the calendar now, which is the start of the the theme spinder. So calendar th and then the rest of the themes are alphabetical, which is the basically the th Tiffany recommended uh, ordering. So I have green weather outdoors and then travel because outdoors and travel are sort of the same. You might travel and go hiking. Um, so I have, I'm going to go back to narrating the actual flip through. So I had Disney animals and then animals. We're going through animals now. So this is like fantastic and normal animals. Books, because there's like some very specific things for when you read books. All celebrations, so parties of all kinds, fireworks and birthdays, exercise. We've got some circus strongmen there, also bicycles. Uh, so any kind of exercise. I'm realizing that I haven't labeled these, which is why I'm deciding to label these. This is my new scrap rack. I just upgraded, so I'm very, I'm still very excited, which is probably why I'm filming this video. Uh, as much as to help you out, it's to show off, like, I'm so excited about this. So, the exercise, and then we're going to see feelings. This is like the, it's like, things that say facts and feelings, which is an Allie Edwards theme. Things that would inspire me to talk about my feelings, emoticon stickers, uh, journaling prompts about me themed things, all the, that sort of stuff goes in here, like, just because I wasn't sure where to put journaling prompts and things that were, like, about me, and they see this seems like the best place. Uh, food, which was moved from eat, uh, sorry, eat, which was moved from food because I have too many Fs. Uh, this is friends and family, uh, which is also getting a label. Uh, so it's mainly friends, and then like family also got stuck in here. Also, anything that depicts mail, like postcards and letters and stuff like that, because who are you going to send those to? You're going to send those to friends and family. Uh, so gift tags also ended up in here. So I've got some like some thank you tags and stuff like that. Uh, so th you know all the sort of things that like assume that you're going to you're going to do them with friends got games, which is like video games and sports games. Uh, this is health, which is, I've separated from exercise, um, and I noticed something that should go in exercise, so I'm going to move it over. Home, so like stuff you do literally at home, and then love, this is for like romantic love, so like things I would only say about my boyfriend. Then we've got making stuff, so making physical stuff or making music, and then this last stuff is tech stickers, so like work. This is like, well, stuff that says work and stuff that is about tech because my boyfriend and I both work in tech. Ending with Wonder Woman and Disney Princesses for Women in Tech. Uh, and then I have a bunch of page protectors that are for uh, the scrap rack. And then I made my tabs by washi taping on a piece of paper to the edge of one of the page protectors uh, so I can find them. And the those funny like flip ones are where I was storing my sticker paper, my uh, like anti-stick sticker paper that I use for splitting up all of my sticker sheets into categories because I can't stand them being missorted. And that's what I keep on the second to last binder. The last binder is for photos. I'm going to put more photos on there to like, so that this like scrapbook has like everything I need to do a scrapbook page, to do a scrapbook page. Uh, all self-contained. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you figure out how you want to do your four section system.